How shall we pray, Lord? Luke 11, verse 2. So he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Did Jesus not understand what was going on around Israel in Israel? Did he not see the Roman military units marching in the streets? Did he not hear the cries of those crucified? Did he not know that Caesar was ruling with a rod of iron? Could he not see the death, darkness and destruction? Did he not care? Of course he did. He knew all about it, more about it than anyone else. But as we have already seen, Jesus had a one-track mind. Restoration. That's all he could see. Every time he looked at someone hurting, he saw restoration. Every time he looked and saw separation and isolation, he envisioned reconciliation. Every time he saw ruins and desolation, he imagined rebuilding. Every time he felt weariness and desperation of hearts, he saw refreshing and renewal. He was seeing what heaven saw. What he saw, he had and he gave freely, new heavenly life. He looked at the kingdom of this world and saw the kingdom of God's world. He was a living reflection, an exact representation of heavenly life. He who had been face to face with the Father in heaven smiled with joy as he brought the kingdom of God into the hearts of men and women, boys and girls. Heaven invaded the earth. It's no different today. Heaven is still invading the earth. And if we begin to pray as Jesus taught us, we will begin the first steps towards a complete change and transformation. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven.